Holy cow, you guys! I totally forgot that our Nintendo was so big and so leafy! It is just full of gorgeous leaves everywhere I look! Look at this! There's a waterfall and there's eggs everywhere! <laughs> Oh my goodness, and we have definitely got plenty of crowds enjoying this amazing zoo. Oh, what a wonderful sight to see. It's been a long time since we've been here after all. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our Planet Zoo adventures here in our Nintendo Zoo, which we actually have different areas named after different parts of like Nintendo zones and we use as our live stream zoo. So we haven't been here in a very long time, but we are returning during what is the special two year anniversary event for me at least right now because we're doing a bit of time traveling. And we are going to try to release 20 more animals before we leave here and go explore some of our other zoos that we have built in franchise mode over the last two years and continue to try to enjoy all of the happy anniversary events. So we'll do a little bit of a tour. We'll do a tour and oh, Coco the camel has died. Oh, rest in peace, old man. Oh my gosh. We'll do a tour, and as we wander around, we will see if there's any animal exhibits that could use more animals, or any places where we might go ahead and have some animals ready for release, and just kind of walk down memory lane, too, because this is a lot of, a lot of, I wanted to say fun, but what is this? This is so painful to look at. What was I doing here? These are both empty exhibits. Why do they exist? This is humiliating. I can't believe I still have this like right here. Oh my gosh. Look, this is big enough to put a whole another habitat. Like what is this nonsense? No, 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 no. We're going to go ahead. Everybody out, out. I evict thee. This is big enough to be able to put in like a new habitat. And I could even add in like the cupcake stand right over here. So people could just like have their cupcakes and enjoy the look of the zoo. Oh, Dino Dash for the spring brock is passing away. Rest in peace, old man. But I do want to go ahead and get like a little a little set of animals in here. So what would be one of the most exciting species? Let's actually take a... Well, I guess this is absolutely not going to help us if I just... Ooh, the gorillas are fighting. Okay, we'll have to go ahead and investigate that. What about, what about some prairie dogs? Prairie dogs are always popping up and being adorable. I very much like prairie dogs. So maybe we will add in some prairie dogs. If I remember correctly, those the prairie dogs even breed pretty quickly. How big of a zone do they need? Can we build them a small little habitat? They need 2,000 square feet. All right, if the, pan, if the pangolin area is 4,000 square feet, we should put in some party prairie dogs. Can you imagine if we could get them to wear little tiny hats? Oh my gosh, I need to find out if there's like a picture on the internet of a, a prairie dog wearing a party hat. I mean, come on, it's the internet, so of course there probably is, but still. All right, let's go ahead, and we're going to try to build ourselves a really precious prairie dog exhibit. I think it can actually just be like wooden logs or even just this gabion to try to look a little nicer. Um, or I guess the thick glass. The thick glass would probably be the cutest. So let's get thick glass in here. Okay, and apparently we need to add in more staff rooms. The staff want to go ahead and enjoy, like, a, a, a prairie dog party as well, if you ask me. Alright, let's try it. Like, what on earth is with these paths? We'll fix the paths later. What the heck? For now, we'll just work on making, like, a nice prairie dog zone. Apparently, we have protesters. Why do we always have to have party poopers? I do not need party pooping protesters unless they're warning me that apparently an animal has been in a box for too long. <laughs> this is so much fun to revisit all of our old zones and zoos, guys, but it is such a reminder that we have come a long, long, long way over the last couple years when it comes to taking good care of the animals, when it comes to apparently a bunch of the animals being inside of boxes. Whose welfare is, like, okay, we have an exhausted Dino Dasher passed away, unfortunately. Coco the Camel passed away. And apparently, Onyx Falls Dangerous Fighting. Why do we have, oh, our gorillas are fighting. Mario, Mario's apparently fighting with his children. Kawibi, 
But Kawibi needs to like inherit. Okay, we'll have to go ahead and Kawibi, you're the first, the first release. There you go, friend. All right, hopefully we don't have any more party poopers uh, protesting the party because I will be very sad about that. And let's get some prairie dogs in here because I do want to have a new animal. So I think the black-tailed prairie dog would be a perfect addition. So do do do, black-tailed prairie dog, refresh list. They have tons of babies, so you don't need to worry too much. And we'll just get ourselves this handsome, handsome male. We'll add him in. We probably don't even need a very big, like, group either of prairie dogs. Uh, there's a female here with 0% immunity. Not exactly what we're looking for. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> there's no female prairie dogs except this one? <gasps> oh my gosh. I guess from these humble beginnings will come our prairie dog empire. But, like, what? You can have one male, 11 females. I guess that's it. They have harems. In a harem, there will be one unrelated dominant male and several adult females that may be interrelated. So like cousins, sisters, aunts. Uh, the adult females will have one fertile day during the three month mating season. And the male may mate with any female in the harem, harem but only 50% of the females will successfully raise a litter at any given year. Oh my gosh, well. All right, hopefully we'll have a cute little prairie dog exhibit over here pretty soon. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure this is going to be prepared for whatever staff. What do we call the the very entrance of this zone? Like, what, what work zone is the pangolin part of? Let's find out. Large keeper hut. Chinese pangolin. Yes. Which work zone are you part of, sir? Employment. Pinecone Plaza. All right, so let's manage Pinecone Plaza. Oh, that's right. It's Pinecone Plaza because we named one of the one of the adorable little pangolin Pinecone. That's really cute. All right, we'll come back whenever they deliver. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're delivering the party, the little party prairie dogs. Yes. Okay, if they're doing that, then let's add in a new person to the cake shop. Okay, where is the bake? There we go. All right, all right. Here we go. And I'll back this up maybe a little bit so that people, I might be able to make a spot where people can have some benches to sit down. We'll plunk this here. And we have a new little cake shop because we're spreading these cakes through all of our zoos to celebrate the second anniversary of Planet Zoo. And we're going to be naming these cake shops after our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures possible. And this time around, it's going to be Plushy Dog. So this is going to be Plushy Dog's Cake Shop. Plushy Dog, thank you so much for being one of our fantastic patrons who make all of these adventures possible. Truly, like, the reason we can go at our own pace and we can have the unique series that feel like series series is because our patrons make it possible for me to not have to worry about what's most popular and then do some sort of jump scare Five Nights at Freddy's, Roblox, Minecraft, wool finding event all packed into one. Um, while I dye my hair various shades of purple and pink. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with that, but like, I can just be myself thanks to the support the patrons have. And that means that I hope I can give some of that authenticity and chaos to you guys. So that being said, we're also going to have Melly. Melly is going to be our cake baker Melly. There we go. And Melly, you are gonna be a part of the Plushy Dogs Cake Shop also known as the Pinecone Plaza Work Zone. Let me make sure that we add this in. Wee! All right, there we go. There, okay. And hopefully we'll have lots of delicious things for people to come over and eat. And look at our little prairie dogs! It is an exceptionally humble beginning for these two, but I'm hoping it will work out very well. Let's get them better terrain and some hard shelter. I'm gonna get them some soil. Here we go. And then if I can raise the terrain in there. Today is gonna to be about the party prairie dogs and like fixing the entrance a little bit. <laughs> and then tomorrow we will actually go ahead or like next time we will actually come in and we'll spend some time. There we go. Trying very hard and we'll roughen this up a little bit 
to release some of the animals so that we can make a little bit more of an organic zoo and work on that that achievement all right how are things going for the prairie dogs we need to put in water for them i think this spot kind of naturally filled in with water that looks really good and then let's put in some things species the black-tailed prairie dog please we might need to get a vet researching about them. Ooh, a melon! I would love to watch a prairie dog eat a melon. That would be so cute. Oh, you, we have these little pet crates that are just like open. Here, we're gonna put that in as like a, a shelter for them. That is the cutest thing. I love this. Oh my gosh, whoever designed that, I just wanna like, I just wanna shake their hand. That's fantastic. And then we're actually going to sculpt the teeniest, tiniest little spot straight in here i'm going to try to make a little hard shelter in the soil for them it may not be the most elegant thing in the world there we go did that affect their hard shelter space 39 percent i think that actually made it a lot worse <laughs> all right i take it back i take it back i'll just give you guys another crate i'm sorry i was trying to give you like a spot to dig How's that? And we'll give them just a minute to kind of recover. All right, what do you guys think? You're a party prairie dogs. We got to give you both a couple of really fantastic names. You want less sand. So I'll put down some more soil. And I think they actually liked having a little bit of a tunnel zone. So let me try that again. All right, I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to dive in. There we are. Kind of nervous about this, but I think it'll work. Oh, wow. It pops up on the other side. Okay. And then... Ha-ha! Wait, no, I covered it up again. All right, there we go. Can I smooth... No, 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 no. All right, look. Big hole. Big hole in the ground for the tiny prairie dogs. And let's try to smooth this out a little, maybe? Or roughen it okay roughening it seems to be helping somewhat and then try to make it a little smoother here so that they can use it they're so small though making them a, a little tunnel is much harder than it sounds like it should be it's because I'm not being patient and I'm building with the big stuff that's what's going on all right come on Let's try smoothing this out. Alright, if I brought this up, it'd probably be much better. Alright, up we go. No, no, up we go. Gosh darn it, guys. This is why you should be very wary of making, like, caves. <laughs> and other things. Because otherwise you might just make a gigantic mess and... And rue the day that you, Did anyone ever let you pick up a shovel? Oh no! No, 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 Carmel! Carmel, we're not gonna let- No! I was gonna try to release Carmel before she died of old age. <laughs> Alright, that may be a sign we need to spend some time with our elders. Um, how's the prairie dogs? Party prairie dogs! Hang in there! We're gonna make you your party tunnel! Alright, we, we got this, we got this. We just need to be really clever with how we arrange the party tunnel. Alright, let's smooth it out. That is absolutely not gonna help us. Nope. That's not going to help us at all. Fine, whatever. Let's just fix this. Let's just fix the freaking tunnel. Uh. All right, we'll try it. We'll try to just trust that they they can make use of that with their own little diggy dig dig powers. All right, and we'll straighten this out because I think I took away a ton of their room to wander around. They're feeling a little bit stressed and trying to hide, so I think we do need to go ahead and give them some places to hide from people. And we need to give them some toy enrichment. Oh no, and the plain zebra are trying to interbreed, so you know what, that's a good call. We need to go ahead and work our way through the plain zebra. Oh dear. Caramel! Oh no, alright. This is chaos. This is why we should just pick like one thing at a time and work from there. All right, let's put down, should I put down another cute little crate? 
I mean, the crate is cute once, but I don't know if it's cute twice. But at the same time, these can be like our ambassador prairie dogs. And we'll just say that they kind of show like what the average zoo sort of looks like. And then let's come in and can I change this to one-way glass? Even though I love the look of the fencing, for now let's change it to one-way glass so that the prairie dogs aren't so stressed. No, 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 not one-way glass. What am I thinking? <laughs> yes, yes, one-way glass, but I think I changed it to normal glass. This is one way. And this is now facing the wrong direction. That's my problem. There we go. What do you guys think? Much less stressed. There. They're just kind of shy. Unlike the prairie dogs at the St. Louis Zoo, who could really care less if you're there. They're just busy being adorable and cute all of the time. Um, let's give these guys a sprinkler to play in. I think that would be quite charming. And we'll put some plants around them. And then their stress is going down. They need a lot more toys, so we'll give them a couple fun sprinklers. And we need to have a researcher come and maybe research these little guys. And we'll give them some fun things to smell. Alright, toy enrichment. Interspecies bonus. No. I don't think we're going to have much interspecies bonus, unfortunately. Alright, how's that? They want a lot of things to smell. That's kind of cute. It makes me think how they want like a bunch of different scents. There! Okay, so let's try to make this look a little bit nicer and we're gonna name these two! So we're gonna go ahead and name the first prairie dog we have. The male is gonna be named Seeker, which I think is a great name. It is after Shadow Seeker. Thank you so much for joining us on all of our adventures, Shadow Seeker. I hope you're excited to be our party prairie dog. And then we actually have Jose again. <laughs> Jose, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to name, um, let's see, I'm gonna take letters from your name. And we're going to name this, this female Lena after your middle name. There we go. So we have Jose and Lena, or excuse me, Lena and Seeker, who are going to be our two new prairie dogs. And they're going to be our party prairie dogs. And let's see if we have, oh, yes, there's some females available. Go, 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 go. All right, come on. All right, while we wait, please let me, yes, we have another prairie dog. That means we should get lots of babies, and hopefully lots of babies will mean we can release even more animals. Alright, and then uh, we'll grab this one too. There we go. So, did we get her? Yes, we got her. No, we didn't. Wait, did I already get that one? Okay, so let's grab this one. There! So I think we're getting the two black-tailed prairie dogs. Or maybe we weren't able to grab that one, that's okay. And let's try to make this exhibit look a lot nicer <laughs> while they're here. We're going to have desert and grassland North American plants. So, desert, grassland, North American, and then blueprints off. And let's go ahead and go a little bit wild. Yay! Look at all these pretty bushes! Oh, this is the best part. All of the exhibits always look absolutely chaotic until we manage to grab our plants. And the minute that we can actually work with some of our plants, then everything starts looking so much better. All right, I don't think we need that big grass. The cattail reeds could be a lot of fun. Barrel cactuses and some desert rocks. So might actually be kind of beautiful if we position those just right. And especially in ways where maybe the prairie dogs can like climb on top of them like so because that actually looks really nice like they have a little lookout spot we just have to make sure that it's angled in such a way that the prairie dogs can climb up and then let's see what about a nice rock right in here then we'll rotate it there we go there we go pull it down rotate it a little more oh lovely all right and down a little more. And somebody has escaped. I bet it was actually the zebra. The zebra love to climb out of here, uh, or love to climb out of their area that we have here. <gasps> this tree is so pretty. Oh my word, I love this tree. I've never really seen it before, but I am so in love with it. Wow. Oh, and we've got goldenrod. Yes, okay, I'm gonna have to trust that the keepers will be able to take care of that escaped animal for a quick minute, because I am gonna go ahead. We're going to finish decorating. 
And a few more spots. Ooh, and the prickly pear cactus. Yes. Oh, this looks so much better. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was a little worried about this. Oh my gosh, and this is such a cool looking palm tree. Is this really a native, like, North American palm tree thing? Like the ponytail palm? I have never seen it. It looks like something that absolutely is just hiding away in California somewhere. I love it so much. What the heck? We have red desert rocks, salt cedar bushes. And we'll put in a couple of those, maybe in a couple places. Like so. Uh, a cactus? I feel like the palm trees are actually doing great. Oh, and these little bushes. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, you guys. We've done it! Look how cute this is! I am well content with this. And that should hopefully keep the guests really happy. That should keep our prairie dogs pretty happy. They even have some white sage bushes that they can go ahead and smell. We'll put that down as like something that they can kind of reach the scent thing to. And we have one more little prairie dog we can go ahead and welcome to this chaos <laughs> before we get ready to come back next time to do a proper tour and release a bunch of the animals to the wild. Oh, let's grab her. Come back, little one. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, no, another animal has died. No. <laughs> All right, where's our new prairie dog? Where did she run off to? Okay, this is going to be the party prairie dog uh, plaza. Boom. <gasps> yes, and Lena's already pregnant. Booyah. And we can welcome... None other than dun 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 Unloader! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and name this little one just Un, because I think that's kind of cute. Uh, well, actually, Unloader. You know what? Unloader, why not? And Unloader, I'm so glad you've been enjoying so many of our Planet Zoo adventures. I, too, love Panda Mountain. It is one of my favorite achievements that we have ever managed to, like, create. The prairie dogs are causing a pileup. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna need to do something about this. Oh my word. Okay. Well guys, next time we will come back to our wonderful, like, uh, stream zoo, the Nintendo zoo, and see what kind of chaos we can tend to. We're also going to try to release 20 animals from here, now that we have our prairie dogs set up and hopefully breeding us lots of babies in the background. And, uh, when we come back, I hope that we'll find lots of cupcakes and just be able to have a ton of fun. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely little prairie dogs. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.